And now, for something, well, not completely, but slightly different anyway. Uh, we've got three uh, bedroom amps here. We've got the Blackstar ID Core 10, the Blackstar ID Core 40, and the Fender G Deck 30 in version 3. So they do all share a little bit of commonality in the regard that uh, they've all got a USB ports, so you can plug them into a computer and they've all got built-in tuners uh, but they do have different features so let's have a look at those and most importantly let's have a listen to how they sound let's go so we'll start with the id core 10 and i can't really show you that without showing you the 40 um, because as you will see their top panels are almost identical the only difference being that I can see is that on the Core 40 there is indeed a foot switch jack socket. So, um, what do we have? Well, uh, you've got uh, one, two, three, four, five, six voices to choose from. And uh, these LED indicators on the, oh, turn it on, so we'll see it light up. Uh, so these indicators also double up as indicators for your tuning system. So if you press the reverb button uh, for just one second, it will in fact activate the tuner and it will tell you E, A, D, G, B. Uh, so there's that feature. Of course, it has the gain volume, EQ, as you can see, delay, modulation. And this, uh, I like this eye set, the infinite shape feature. It's very, very cool indeed. I'm rather fond of that. You've got your USB thing here, so you can use that port to uh, make it talk to your computer and program in different patches and uh, different variations on uh, that, that can be otherwise achieved using a combination of these features on the top. Um, what else does it do? Well, you see, uh, for my money, really, the most important thing with any of these is going to be how it actually sounds. So, I think that that's the next thing to do. Let's have a listen to the 10. Okay, so we'll start with having a listen to everything dry, and we'll just go through these uh, six presets that we've got. <laughs> Clean bright. This is indeed a little brighter. Crunch. Super crunch. Overdrive one. Overdrive two. And now let's bung some delay on it. to overdrive one on to super crunch on to crunch clean bright to clean warm. Alright, okay, so let's have a look at the core force. So, so again, we'll whip through. You see, it looks pretty much identical with the exception of the foot switch um, jack socket there. So, quick whip through. <coughs> Clean warm, clean bright, crunch, super crunch, overdrive one, and overdrive 
too. So that's all dry, it will try it wet or with delay on it. And this is starting with overdrive two. Overdrive one. Super crunch. Crunch. Uh, clean and bright. And clean and warm. Okay, let's have a look at that fender. So, as you can see, uh, there's quite a bit more going on with this one. Uh, control wise, guitar tone, which is fairly self explanatory, band level, because it does have backing tracks, and so you can adjust the level of the backing track uh, uh, to match the level of your guitar. Overall volume, a master volume. Uh, as you can see here, you've got an SD card slot, you've got your phones um, socket there and this is your USB as long as it tells you that it's a USB uh, and the guitar input here so um, before we play it let's have a quick look around the back and see what else it's got uh, fairly self-explanatory I suppose uh, on-off switch uh, power socket uh, the lineouts are for either uh, recording or sending to a mixer. Uh, foot switch, that's what it says on the tin, auxiliary in, so you can uh, either plug an MP3 player or probably even, I suppose, um, a lineout from a computer for another backing track. And this uh, I found puzzling, but this is so that either a friend or an instructor can plug in with you. Hmm. Okay, right, let's have a listen. Okay, so as you can see on the control panel, we've got a number and some writing. So this is the number of the uh, patch, the sound patch that you're on. Uh, this is the name of the patch, and this is the family that it's from. So let's have a listen to a few of those, and uh, some of them even tell you uh, what it is you're going to be doing. So this one is fairly obvious. Isn't it? Metal from modern metal. Very nice. So, another nice push box. Okay, I thought this one was quite clever. So, this seems to me to almost be an emulator. And I thought it rather sounded, made the electric guitar sound a bit acoustic y. Okay, so the other thing that this does, which really is very much its party piece, is it's got a load of backing tracks inside it and you can do loops and stuff that you can jam along to so you'll choose your your favorite sound i thought we'd go with naked slap and um, then you can use this dial here to well this does scroll you through the individual patches but it also scrolls you through the sounds when you go onto the quick access so let's see what this one sounds like oh right okay i got the picture uh this is going to be quite noisy as well i would imagine so there's um there are samples in here from um eric johnson and i think is it dweezil zapper and some other people that you might have heard of that i haven't uh let's see what this one's like <laughs> Okay, noisy. 
Let's see what answer we've got. How's that? Oh, that's nice. And if I want to get back to the uh, sounds that it makes, I press the exit button, which is very useful. And that gets you back onto those. That's pretty much what it does. I mean, initially, uh, initially, additionally, uh, of course, you can use the SD card uh, for either your own backing tracks or uh, to download the backing tracks that you've got on here. Wow, an awful lot going on with that. So I reckon in conclusion uh, there are two factors that I would want to take into account when choosing one of these. Uh, the first you've got to consider price. Uh, they no longer make the uh, G deck, that's now been superseded by the Fender Mustang, um, but these when they were new were the thick end of 300 quid. Uh, you can pick them up for probably about around the 150 mark uh, to your door on the used market. Uh, these you can probably somewhere between 50 and 75 depending on condition again on the used market and these on the used market I can't find a single one of the ID Core 40s but you can still buy the version 3 from PMT and GAK for about 150 quid. Uh, so, yeah, very, very much horses for courses. So, for example, if I'm going around to my buddy's house for a little jam, I'll take the little antenna with me uh, because it's light, it's easy to carry, and it sounds quite nice. Uh, I think that probably if I was having a bit of a jam at home, I'd want to use uh, the Fender because of all of the backing tracks that it's got inside it. And with that said, I shall thank you all for tuning in as per usual, and I shall look forward to seeing you on the next one. Adios, amigos. Ta-ra.